Welcome to my lecture online. Earlier in an, well, in an earlier video, I made a reference so there's a difference between writing the equation like this and writing the equation with a square root. And to give you a simple example of that, we'll take an example where the center of the circle is at the origin where h and k are equal to zero. So taking the first equation, we get x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And then if we solve that equation for y, First of all, what we do here is we put the x on the other side, becomes minus x squared, and then we take the square root of both sides, and the question is, what is the difference between these two equations? Well, to illustrate it, we wrote an equation with an actual value for r, so r there will be 2, and then again we're going to write it like this, and with the radical sign. And the question is, what is the difference between those two? Well, let's graph them and see what happens. So on the first one, we know that the center is at the origin, so we place the center here, and then we find a point two units to the right, two units to the left, two units up, two units down. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. So this is two, two, negative two, and negative two. We put the four points down. We know that those points are on the edge of the circle. And then we connect them, and there we go, a small little circle of radius, the radius is equal to 2. So now you would think that if we write it in this form, it should make no difference at all. We get the same circle with radius 2, but that's not quite the case. Why is that? Because by definition, the quantity underneath the radical can never be less than 0, which means that y can only be a positive value. So essentially, we get the same thing, but only on the top half of the board, the bottom half, Below the x-axis, we can't have any circle because we have y equals the square root of this, and this quantity can never be negative by definition. So therefore, again, we find the center. It's at the origin. We draw the line 1, 2 to the right, 1, 2 going up, 1, 2 to the left, 1, 2 down. But we can only have a point here here and here, not down below because that would make y negative and y can never be negative according to that. So that means that the equation represents only the top half of the circle, not the bottom half of the circle. Here, this is a true function because notice if I draw a vertical line anywhere, it only crosses the graph at one location. But here when I draw a straight line, notice that the graph will cross twice and therefore that is not a function, that is a relation. So if you want to write the equation of a circle in terms of a relation, then it's perfectly fine to write it like this. But if you want to draw it in terms of a function, we can only take the positive side of it. That means we can only have this part of the circle, not the bottom part of the circle. So if you see it like this, it's only a half circle. If you see it like this, it's the full circle. And that is the difference between those two equations. It's very subtle, but based on the definition of the radical, we cannot have negative values, and therefore we see the difference like that. And that is how it's done. But if you take the square root of both sides, doesn't that introduce the plus or minus sign? It does, that's right. So if you take the square root of both sides, you typically would have plus or minus. However, by definition in algebra, this can never be a negative value, so we have to negate the negative value. That's right. But so, if you, if you put plus a negative there, doesn't that introduce the bottom half? It would, but by definition in algebra, that is not permitted. Even if you put in the plus or minus there? Yeah, although, granted, there's plenty of examples in physics or other applications where the plus or minus does have a meaning, meaningful part of the solution, and you want to put that in there. But in algebra, by definition, we cannot allow the negative to be there. I know that this, com this, comes up, this, com <laughs> this comes up a lot. It's just strictly by definition algebra, you cannot have a negative y if you have a radical there. I think you're making it up. <laughs> I'm not making it up. 